Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in a video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the First Battle of Champagne, located in champagne ardennes France, and involving elements of France and the German Empire on the 20th of December 1914 through the 17th of March 1915. The First Battle of Champagne is actually a conglomeration of dozens of skirmishes and movements and was the result of French General Joseph Joffrey and his attack on the Germans in a two-pronged attack aiming for Artois and for Champagne. The purpose was to destroy the Noyon Salient, a German-controlled area. This would also give the Russians some relief if the Germans had to shift more troops from the east to the west. Up until Joffrey got permission on November 15th to start the attack, he had doubts that only had increased over the week. The French army was short on men, ammunition, and food. Even so, though, he knew the Russians needed this more than anything. Joffrey sent the French 4th Army towards Champagne. The purpose was to deny the Germans the ability to move troops east and force the Germans to retreat. The 4th Army moved forward on December 20th with some gains made on the first day. By the 21st, the French 12th Corps stalled because the only gaps between the barbed wire were watched over by German machine guns. The 12th Corps attempted to take the position anyways, but found they couldn't get past the machine guns for several days. Eventually, with the judicious use of artillery, the French 4th Army started moving forward again. On December 30th, the French attempted again to fully penetrate German lines and inflicted a lot of damage. The Germans attacked back the next morning and pushed the French back with four large attacks that stunned the French HQ. The French and Germans exchanged artillery and attacks until the 13th of January, in which case French command ordered the 4th to stop attacking and to dig in. In mid-January, the Germans had other ideas and assaulted the French city of Sassons and for a moment broke through the French line in the area. The Germans had hoped to be able to use a less number of troops but found they had shipped too many to the east to fight the Russians and they didn't have the forces they needed to take advantage of the break. They were beat back and resumed their original position. Like much of the fighting of the First World War, the battle was a waste not only in cost of equipment, but in manpower. The French lost more than 93,432 soldiers killed, wounded, or missing, while the Germans maintained their position with only losing, and I say only in finger quotes, 46,100 soldiers killed, wounded, missing, or captured. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.